the outlook of the government and Savage, who was the Prime Minister at that time, this was a comment that he made. Where Britain goes, we go, and so we were in it. I realised that I'd probably get caught up in it sooner or later. As soon as I was 21, um, I volunteered to be a pilot. It was the natural thing to do. You see, to enlist and not wait to be conscripted. You lived, you slept and ate and went to lectures and flew together. You had to get pretty matey. You had to get to know one another. You went and drank beer together. Off we went. It was a really a bright show, you know, there was flak and bombs and flares and everything. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. We didn't know what to expect. Uh, it wasn't until we really got into the real fact of having opposition that uh, started to uh, sort of upset your nerves a bit, to put it that way. We came to realise that the Germans were playing for keeps. Night fighters were the biggest, biggest danger, that was for sure. Right through the war I accepted that, uh, you know, the time might come. Uh, that I could lose my life, but that was going to be, a, as far as I was concerned, a fact of life. I accepted that as a fatalist, in a way. We were going to war, and well, you accept a thing, you just, and when you're young, you're bulletproof, aren't you? You know, you don't think it's going to happen to you. But I've never talked about this, strangely, as you might think. It's only this last, oh, year or two that I have, and at one time I couldn't talk about it, I'd break down.